Hey guys, it's Claudia and welcome back to another process video. For today's layout, I'm using the Crepe Paper Wonder Collection again. And as you can see, I'm using this adorable photo of um, Amy and Mickey. And um, this was taken back when Amy was still a little puppy. And, um, you know, she was so cute back then. She's still cute, but, you know, puppies are just so adorable. And uh, I just thought this was a cute photo. And, um, you know, when we just got Amy, uh, Mickey did not like her much at all. You, I'm not sure if you can really see it on the photo, but he's kind of like back in a way, like he's not really agreeing with her being that close to him. Um, but it, it's such a cute photo and I wanted to scrap it and I just felt like this collection was the perfect collection to scrapbook um, this type of photo. So I'm just kind of finding some um, papers to mount my photo on and I kind of had a color scheme in mind which is kind of going to be um, kind of like the mint green color and um, that brown color and just some neutrals and there's gonna be a little bit of that kind of like that salmon pink that's in the collection um, but yeah uh, I'm just using white cardstock for my background because I don't know it just felt like using white cardstock for this layout I do have some pattern papers left, but I just wanted to use a white base. But I did want to add a little bit of interest to the background, so I'm cutting off a strip of that paper, which is like kind of like a wavy zigzag chevron type of pattern. And I'm just going to stick that down right now. And um, just going to put it pretty much in the middle. And I did kind of know what I wanted to do with this layout, so at this point I'm just kind of pulling out some ephemera pieces. And um, that little one die cut was actually perfect for um, this layout. And um, you know, when I first saw it I wasn't sure if I was going to use it, but then of course I remembered that I do have, you know, photos of Mickey as a baby and um, Amy when she was younger. so. Uh, I would have made it work regardless, but I wanted to uh, use it for this layout. And uh, I pull out some ephemera pieces and kind of play around with the position and that uh, red heart is not going to make it on there. Looking back at it now, it did look kind of nice, but it, when I was making this layout I just decided that I did not want it. And I'm just sticking down the pieces that are going to be behind my photo because for the other pieces I kind of prefer to stick my photo down first and um, that die cut that says meow and has that cat face I just kind of used um, kind of like the border to just add some more of that kind of red pinkish color uh, because I didn't think I was going to use the cat face on any layouts I love cats you know I have two cats I love cats but I'm not a huge fan of the cats in this collection. Please don't hate me <laughs> for saying that. And uh, as you can see, I just stuck down my photo. So now uh, that means that I am ready to stick down some of the ephemera pieces that I had selected. And um, some of them are from the ephemera pack and then others are from the cut apart sheet. Um, either the 12 by 12 cut apart sheet or the downsized version from the 6x6 paper pad. And uh, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this layout. I do kind of like it. Uh, I just feel like maybe it didn't uh, turn out the way that I really wanted it to, if that makes any sense. But um, it is a different color scheme than the other layouts I've made with this collection. So at the end of the day, it's a memory documented and um, it's a different layout within the collection so you know when I'm done with this collection I will have you know different color schemes to show you all and show you that you can make very different layouts while using the same collection which I know all of you know but you know it's just nice to see um, see that in action if that even makes any sense at all and I'm still working on sticking down my ephemera pieces and uh, you know, I gotta say, when I was recording this, I had the worst chest pains. Um, I get chest pains a lot. They're like, you know, that's really painful. Almost like I'm getting stepped in the chest. That's how painful it is sometimes. So um, 
it was really bad while I was recording this video and I almost felt like just stopping the recording and tell someone how bad I was feeling but luckily it went away and I'm adding some of those gold glitter shapes and again I'm cutting that square in half and use them as photo corners because I just love how that looks and I think it's a great way to use up those squares. So here I pull out that puppy sticker and it says you and me and um, in the final images you will see that I have moved it around because I didn't like it as much. And so uh, while I'm just going to add some stickers, I want to take a quick moment to tell you all that I revamped my blog. So if you have never visited my blog before, you should definitely go check it out. I try and make a post for every layout that I upload. So if you don't have time to watch videos or just want to watch um, the photos or see how I felt while making this layout or what I was thinking about, um, or see a detailed product list, you should definitely check out my blog because it's all right there. And my layout is close to being done. I'm looking at the chipboard sheet and kind of deciding which ones I want to use. And um, the ones with gold foiling would work, but I'm kind of like in my head saving them for another um, layout that I have in mind that I still want to make with this collection. So I just decide to go with this floral piece and kind of layer it behind my photo. And that little sticker that says cute, um, I put it on my layout, but actually here realized that I don't like the position, so I'm just putting it back on and trying to find something else. And I'm going to add this tiny uh, gold glitter heart that I punched out of a scrap piece of paper. And um, you know, that is pretty much my layout done. I'm going to add a few of those tiny words and phrase stickers. Oh, and I'm going to spell out Amy. And those tiny alphas are from the Maggie Holmes Confetti collection that I had left. And um, yeah, that is basically it. So thank you so much for watching. And if I'm totally sorry, my words, excuse me. I'm going to add some gold splatters as well. And that will finish up my layout. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed uh, the video. And I'll be back with more process videos soon. Have a great day.